All right, the 2 plus 2 is back in talks. New Delhi is hosting the second edition of the India-Australia 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue. The two quad partners are ramping up defense ties and boosting overall strategic cooperation. Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh and External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar and their Australian counterparts Richard Marles and Penny Wong will take part in the meeting. The meeting is held every two years to discuss strategic issues in a 2 plus 2 format with the first ministerial 2 plus 2 held in New Delhi in 2021. Canberra's relationship with New Delhi is Australia's oldest continuous formal diplomatic relationship with any Asian country. Now, the Indian community is Australia's second largest and fastest growing. India is Australia's largest source of skilled migrants and the second largest source of international students. In 2022, India was Australia's sixth largest two-way goods and services trading partner and the fourth largest goods and services export market. Canberra and New Delhi have joined forces to accelerate the production and deployment of renewable energy technologies. The aim is to create new economic opportunities, diversify global clean energy supply chains and help reduce global emissions. Now, the Australia-India relationship was upgraded to a comprehensive strategic partnership in June of 2022. It is based on mutual understanding. It is based on trust, close connections, and a shared vision of a stable, open, and prosperous Indo-Pacific. Now, as mentioned earlier, the countries are part of the Quad grouping as well. The Quad, officially the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, is a group of four countries, which includes the, Aust the United States and Japan, apart from India and Australia. The concept was developed as a loose grouping by late Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to ensure unity among four democracies that have seen friction with China. China, a country with growing territorial ambitions, has condemned the grouping as a move to encircle it. Now, viewers, all four Quad members insist of a free and open Indo-Pacific, which is essential. The Quad's efforts are not focused on creating institutions or military alliances. The idea is to generate gradual convergence of cooperation on issues like climate change, critical and emerging technologies, counter-terrorism and cyber security. With defense outposts on artificial islands, China claims almost all of the southern of the South China Sea. The South China Sea is a key gateway for a large chunk of the world's merchant shipping and that is definitely where the interest in it comes from. The sea contains rich fishing grounds and reportedly reserves of undiscovered oil and gas. The South China Sea is a key economic and strategic subsection of the Indo-Pacific. 